Hi, I'm Wayne Cunningham here at CES 2014. Now, driverless cars are a huge topic here at this show. Earlier this week, BMW showed me their version of a driverless car on a racetrack. Let's go take a look at that video now. Out on a racetrack north of Las Vegas, BMW put me in the passenger seat of an M6 it's using to test driverless car systems. A BMW staffer was in the driver's seat, although he wasn't doing much driving. We got on the track, he put it in automatic mode, and the car started to go around the track as fast as it could. It took the turns uh, following a good racing line to get maximum grip through the turns and put on as much speed as it could. Uh, we went through a series of turns like that. Then we came up to the slalom. This was a series of cones that the BMW had to negotiate. It veered through the cones perfectly, uh, hit a chicane, and then turned through that really nicely. And then finally, the most exciting bit of this tour was the wet corner. BMW had made one corner of the, the track wet and the car went into that corner and immediately went into a sideways drift. The car by itself was able to counteract that drift by cross turning the wheels, compensating for the turn until it got to the dry where it could go straight once again. The interesting thing about this car is it was actually using a GPS trail to find its way around the track. The purpose of this research vehicle was so BMW can test its longitudinal and latitude control systems. These are systems that actually determine how the car handles the corners just like a driver would. And they make up essential parts of a future autonomous car, especially one that could handle high performance driving. This was an exciting day out on the track for me and it's particularly fascinating to see how the car could handle all these high performance situations by itself. This is the future of autonomous cars.